What's going on YouTube? This is Mike, Living with 3M. Thought I'd come to you this morning. Vlogmas, again, don't know what day it is. We just, we just say Vlogmas. Um, we're in December, 2021. And for those of you that don't know what Vlogmas is, I do a video, I upload a video every day for 24, 25 days. And today I'm gonna, we're gonna redo the Plasti Dip on Legend. So the emblems, we're gonna look at sanding those down just a little bit because after about a year and a half, two years, they have worn down. So a little bit of the edges of the Plasti Dip has, you can see some chrome through on the original badging. So we're gonna redo them, freshen them up and also, just to talk to you guys uh, a little bit about me and let you guys know what I'm all about. All right. Well, first off, I'm 51 years old and I was born in East Belmont, North Carolina uh, in 1970. Man, yeah. So I have been married to my wife, Bridget, since we were teenagers in high school. Um, she got married to me and let's see, I was 19, I had just graduated and she was 18, she was still in school, uh, still together, still in love. And my son, uh, he is 32 years old. I have a four year old grandchild named Maverick uh, it's something else, guys, I'm telling you. You get to experience the love of grandchildren. And Miss Olivia, and she is one and a half. I'm just going to tell you, it's, it's something else to experience this. Um, so, a little bit about the name, Living with 3M. Okay, some guys have been like, oh, man. Living with 3M. 3M, is that the tape? Is that the wraps on the car? No, it's, it's nothing to do with that. Living with 3M actually came about, we were thinking about a channel name. And to be transparent, I mean, totally honest, I didn't know what to, to put, you know, because I didn't want to limit myself on one topic, like a car, truck, home, personal. I wanted something that I, I could switch around if I needed to, my niche. So what we done was come up, actually my son came up with the topic. We were, we were throwing things back and forth and thinking about, it. so living with 3M. Okay. So my name is Mike. My son's name is Mike Jr., but we call him Mikey. And his son is Maverick, three M's, okay? All right, where does the living come in? Well, we're all living with Miss Olivia. We call her the Belmont Belle. She's one and a half, that's my granddaughter. And Olivia, her nickname is Liv. So, living with three M. That's where it all came to pass. Uh, we threw things back and forth and I just didn't want guys to read too much into what it actually means. Okay, so a little bit more about me, uh, being 51 years old. At 36, I, I've always been active, always been active. And at 36, I was playing basketball at the local YMCA and started hurting in my chest. A um, little bit overweight and found out they, they called the rescue and paramedics, fire department, everything as I got to the parking lot and was actually having a heart attack at 36 years old. So went from there, had three stents and diagnosed with cardiovascular disease. Now get this guys, I've never smoked, never even put one in my mouth, never drank, never did any drugs, nothing. I mean, it's like the cards you're dealt in life. So the hand I was dealt was family history. Um, so after that, 
I had, you know, my weight ballooned up and it's like, you know, you'd think somebody would take care of themselves after that, but it, it seemed like a bad dream and I just got comfortable again. Well, I did make a change a few years later and I decided in 2012, started running, losing weight like crazy, uh, got really healthy. Uh, but then a few years later in 2016, was running and uh, had lost a lot. Of, I was like 190 and uh, had 190 pounds and uh, was hurting in my chest again. So went back into the cath lab and this time cardiovascular disease has no cure. I don't know if you guys know that. So I wound up going into the cath lab and they said that the uh, disease had surpassed the stents that they put in for the heart attack eight years prior. So what happened was, <laughs> it seems like a really bad dream. I, the next morning I went straight in for open heart surgery. And at that point they done a triple bypass. They bypassed arteries that were really, really bad. Started out to be a double bypass, but then they found another one. I'm like, man, yeah, fix it while you're in there. So with that being said, I don't know if you guys can see, there's the top of the scar, but it goes all the way down. So uh, down to the rib cage. And um, that's uh, what I deal with. And over these last few years, I've let my weight get back out of control again. I'm back like 245 and you can't tell, usually you can't tell on the camera, but I, you know, gotten chunkier over the years. And I'm going to make a channel at the first of the year. I want you guys to subscribe to that. If you know, everybody's into health and fitness and I'm going to make a vlog weekly about my weight. I'm on, I know I'm 245, maybe closer to 250 now, getting close to Christmas. So uh, to make a long story short, yes, I'm battling coronary artery disease. It's like heart disease and it's the number one killer of all people globally. I mean, you know, everywhere. Um, usually you see people in the obituaries and it says uh, heart attack or you see stars, you know, so-and-so died in Hollywood. What they die of? Oh, massive heart attack. Well, that's the end result. But the reason they died usually of a heart attack is cardiovascular disease or heart disease. So with that being said, that long story, I hope you guys stayed with me for that. I'm going to be starting a new channel. Um, I'm going to keep this one. Yeah, we're going to roll with uh, mods on the truck and uh, everything else. But just to let you know, I've got to get back in shape, got to really push myself and a vlog for health and fitness would be nice. I'm thinking about it because one of my friends on here, Kicking It With Q, he's big time into fitness. He's a big guy, but he, he got fit and healthy. And I look up to that, look up to him, uh, really inspires me. So with that being said, we're gonna, we're, we're really gonna get serious about this. So. so I haven't even come up with a name for the channel, haven't created the channel yet but I will let you guys know through this channel with links and everything as it gets closer and I get more prepared to do this because I have to get mentally uh, prepared. Uh, it's going to be one of the hardest things. I, I told myself if I ever, once I lost that weight before and then I started putting it back on, I told myself, I said, if I ever fall back and I start gaining weight again, losing it, like I did the first time back in 2012, 2013. Uh, it's, it's just gonna be astronomically hard. I mean, it, it's unreal uh, at 51 years old to change my diet and eating habits and everything. Man, it, it's, it's gonna be rough. So I'm gonna need your support, each and every one of y'all to comment on the new channel and really, really back me on this and hopefully with motivating me, it'll motivate you.
Okay, so we're out here in the yard and I'll give you a close look at what I'm talking about. The emblems have held up really well, except for right here. You can kind of see the chrome coming through around here, right there. It's nothing super bad. I don't see any of the other, well, there's a little bit, let's see, right there. You know, I mean, from this far back, you really can't tell. And when I originally done these, I just wiped them down with Windex to get any dust off of them. Then I taped up really well. And without taking these off, the trick is you got to take your time with some tweezers. And I put little sticks, like toothpicks, in this area to block off most of and you know put some tape in here you'll see as we we do this but if you have any overspray in these areas you can take the toothpick and it just basically just comes off of the paint so but it's really weird because it comes off of this but it's really sturdy on this all right so there's that one show you guys what we're going to be using today Plasti dip, masking tape. There's 1000 grit sandpaper, the Windex. I'm gonna be using plain copy paper. Uh, you can use uh, whatever you have laying around, tear a magazine up, um, use newspaper, what have you to. You wanna avoid any overspray. Like today, yeah, it's a little windy out, Not not too bad, but Overspray is not going to be good. We don't want any kind of overspray. Okay, so I've got my 1000 grit sandpaper, which is really not necessary at all. You can just wipe this down and respray it. I just want to take, get the edges of that and smooth that out a little bit. Yeah, there's a little ridge right there. You want to be sure you get, see that? Yeah. Just very lightly, you don't want to, and that's 1000 grit, so that's not much at all. So, okay. Yeah, just want to make sure we, we don't have any, uh, let's see what I'm doing here. don't want to have any edges i guess that's what i'm trying to say all right now we're going to wipe it down with windex now with the windex you want to be sure you get it really clean and by that you don't want any dust even around here on the fenders or anything where the the masking tape's got to stick so i'll go up here And we're gonna let this dry. You know, Windex will dry pretty fast. And it's 65 to 67 degrees in North Carolina today, mid-December. Isn't that crazy? And just the other day, it was 37. So, okay. Now, we're gonna wait a little bit for that to dry then start masking it off. All right, just put the outer edges on. It's just basic painter's tape, frog tape and it'll actually slide down in behind there that's the outside edges now we're going to actually put the paper here and go around there okay guys i'm using these are like little skewers for uh, kebabs and stuff and i'm just covering inside there but it's really not necessary. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape here and here because what you'll do is once it's sprayed, the Plasti Dip will stick really well to this, but you can actually take this and it'll just peel right off. Actually, there's a little, I don't know if you can see it right there, little piece right there from last time. 
you can see it on the end of the q-tip so it'll just roll right off of the paint of the truck but the emblem it's more durable okay so yeah i know you're gonna look at me and say man this guy's crazy he's got gaps all around this tape like i said you don't even have to put any of this stuff inside the emblem because plasti dip is weird it'll actually stick to the emblem very well but not the auto paint it'll just come right off of the auto paint all right so getting ready to spray all right i did want to mention this really needs to be around 70 degrees 65 70 degrees before you attempt this don't go out on a 30 degree day snow on the driveway and try and do this it's not a very good idea but shake for about 10 minutes five to ten minutes just keep shaking and you want to be sure your nozzle in here sprays clean before you start and you also want to spray light coats even and light coats you do not want to gob it on really thick and have a bunch of orange peel on mess okay all right here we go ah, tape fell out right there it's no problem all right now we're going to let that sit edges aren't covered really well but that's where you, you don't want to get in a hurry and push this because when you push it that's where you mess up take your time to this side already got it prepped i only really see two small spots but the top of it where the sun hits has got a little wear on it so we'll go ahead and uh we're going to spray this side too you can see right there what i'm dealing with all right there we go coat number one on driver's side I'll come back around here Did you guys see this so it's been about 25 minutes so we're gonna go ahead and shoot this with another coat all right second coat on that side okay and uh, step around the back of the vehicle and i'll just tell you guys if you're wondering so far in the video it's like man this guy is crazy with the way he's taping that up all right let me show you how well the back just turned out yeah man i mean did the same thing just run the tape around the edges that is sweet that's as smooth as anything you can buy off the internet and that's from little old mike down here just spraying his heart out with plasti dip okay i've put the last coat on and now we're going to start uh removing the paper from around it i'll do that and then show you guys next step all right so before i take this out i'll slide these pieces out and you see this with that now we'll go to the inside and clean that up okay last step is to take your skewers carefully and you can remove the tape 
like that. And you'll see inside there, I'll show you how to carefully, you just go along the, not getting on the emblem at all. This is a wooden stick, um, like you put kebabs on or whatever, so. There we go. All right, we'll move along to this. All right, I'll show you where I missed, you know, the big spot here. And the reason I put the tape in there is just to minimize having to do so much. But it's it's not really necessary because it will peel right off of your paint. So I guess if you did get overspray up here on the paint, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Because guys, you gotta remember, we're dealing with Plasti Dip. This is not auto paint. If you were auto painting these emblems, you would have to take them off. In my opinion, I would never try to tape all this up and sand it down on the truck. See in these corners, it just comes right off. So. All right, and when I first did the Plasti Dip year and a half to two years ago, I said, I'm just gonna do this until I can afford me some custom painted emblems. And they lasted without an issue for a year and a half to two years before you saw it just as the video began, just a little bit of fading. So there it is. That's the finished product. Now we're in the bright sunlight, so it shows everything. And to me, that's that's great. I mean, I love it. Now I know what you're thinking. First time you wash it, is it gonna peel off? No, it really will not. That's what is the craziest thing about it. After it dries and cures on a day like today, 65 to 70 degrees, give it give it some time before you wash it the emblems will not peel off i mean it, i guess with anything you can take a brush and just scour the hell out of it yeah it's gonna wear it down um do not go through any car washes obviously i can't i'm a little wide for that that and bank teller bank tellers uh what is that called the teller lanes at the bank yeah so there you go just a quick shot i'll back up here let you guys see it can't beat it for a 13 dollar can of plasti dip and it'll last me another year and a half just redo it, it takes a couple hours out here and uh you know just take your time but Hey, if you're about spending two, 300 bucks on custom emblems, man, knock yourself out. And if I had the, that kind of cash, I would probably do that as well. But it's one of these things I say, don't knock it till you tried it. All right, that's gonna do it for this video, fellas. So I started off the video with a little bit about me, why we call it living with 3M. Finished up the video with some Plasti Dip on Legend. All right, so I appreciate you guys tuning in. And if you will, please keep tuning in, keep commenting, keep subscribing, keep giving me the thumbs up. It means the world to me. I keep bringing you guys content that I think you could use on your truck. I wouldn't do anything on my, I wouldn't tell you to do anything on your truck that I wouldn't do on mine. And for the guys that say this is cheap mod, I wouldn't do that on a 40, 50, $60,000 truck, man, you know, you do you, I do me. That's the way I feel about it. And uh, much love to every one of you. But this is uh, this gets me uh, comments after comments. And uh, it's pretty simple for me to do. All right, I'll check y'all next video.